Hey, how you doing? Al, hello. 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 What's nice, up? Nice shirt or sweatshirt. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks. I love the shirt. The sweatshirt goes great. Yeah. Um, nice so hat, my question. Nice wall, nice wall art. Nice eyes. Dude, yeah, this is yeah. a great nice situation you got going yeah. here. Comfy bed. Thank you. Yeah, comfy looking. I got bed. some more. I got some compliments for you too, but we'll save those for later. Yeah, um, can't right. wait. Let me buckle yeah. up. Personal call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my question is, what's your favorite content made by fans in your fan community that isn't actually fan content? So music, games, videos, podcasts, stuff made by people in your community, but it's not like Mega Sixty Four related. If there's yeah. anything. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna give a shout out to our good friend Gene Goldstein and yeah. his um, <clears throat> his animations, Planet Panic, and the new ones that are coming out now. Ooh, you've seen some new stuff. Well, he's been like posting promotions. Oh, on cool, cool. Facebook about yeah. it. Um, so that's cool. I think that there is. I don't even know if he's really a fan of ours, but I'm pretty sure we cross paths through the Mega Sixty Four community. But there's a music video director uh, out there named. Chris Merck, shots out to him. He does shots a lot of out. big music videos. He's like blown up in the last few years. He's probably more famous and successful than we are now. Uh, Skullgirls by Mariel. Thanks, Jerk Off in the chat. That's a yeah. great yeah. video game. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to Invisible RPG. Yeah. yeah, and she did some work on the Scott Pilgrim video game too, yeah. which I loved the Scott Pilgrim video game when it was out. Um, there's a podcast called Blackwood that a fan came to me at Game Day said that he made. And uh, I've been listening to that. I'm like three episodes into that right now, and it's like a it's like a fiction story or whatever. But he said later on that like some characters will like have our names. There's like a, I think there's like a um, maybe it was like a Sean Acosta in the in the oh the really story. Oh, yeah. something <laughs> like that mash I, up. I, yeah, so I, I'm I haven't gotten to it yet, but um, Blackwood is really cool. Uh, I'll shout out to the Thought Cops podcast, uh, Officer Grant and Kevin holding it down. Nice. Making fun of the internet and all the uh, <laughs> silly happenings from uh, week to week. And uh, I met Kevin out at Game Days. He came out and asked me to be on the show. And uh, yeah, uh, there was also a guy, Dave Capper, Dave C, I'll say, does the Recapitate podcast. Derek yeah. and I were on that. Yeah, two and, separate episodes. Yeah, it's a great uh, horror podcast. Um, Let me tell you, it is something like people say that, like, oh, you inspired me to make this thing, or like, you know, yeah. like, you make things, so I started making things, and now I'm here. Like, it is that. That to me is the biggest compliment you could ever get. Like, yeah, totally. Corridor Digital, those guys, I love big the stuff time. they're doing. Rocket Jump. Uh, we, yeah, Freddie W. We inspired him <laughs> too, yeah. and uh, he's really taking off. Basically, like Bernie Gus and and Jeff. Uh, you know, those guys were just not doing comedy until they met us yeah. at and a then, convention. Well, and then they're we like, try. They just yeah, funny they're like we should us. try doing some funny stuff. Try. We were like, word. you guys ever play right. Halo? Check it out. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I can't confirm Spielberg, but I can't He's deny it. Uh, can't deny it. Can't deny it. Yeah, Game Grumps became huge. They never would have started without us. That's right. Um, they were definitely viewers of Mega64. Totally. Yeah. Um, you know, John Favreau, I'm pretty sure, has seen one of our videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Singles was, so, was great. I love Singles. I don't know who started first, us or him. We've been around for a long time. We have been on for a long time. Mm -hmm. True. Um, but what about you, Al? Do you follow any creations of the Mega64 fan base? Oh, uh, yeah. We've heard his name a lot, but I love Jake Ennis. I love his work. Oh, Gaming Cult Gaming Podcast. Gaming Cult Podcast, Jake baby. Ennis. <laughs> If I am ever about to be on a plane and I'm like going to dread the next four hours or so, I get like random Gaming Cult podcast episodes just downloaded to my phone. Nice. And then it just doesn't even feel like there's any stress in the wow. situation. I just got it. Wow. Gaming Cult yes. podcast still going on? Uh, no, GCP. Well, I, I should say gaming. the new Gaming Cult podcast is still going. I think it's never been officially <laughs> canceled. But uh, Jake primarily focuses on, and he just moved from Australia, I think, or he is moving soon. Yeah. Mm. He's moving back to the UK, yeah, and uh, focusing on uh, his uh, music production yeah, and like DJing. DJ. And yeah, DJ. His footwork is actually pretty damn good. Like Tech DJs, I know baby. You, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's not for everybody, but once you understand the mechanics of like that genre, he's into it. And like all of his experience with other electronic music from back in the day, bitch face records, all that yes. shit. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, shouts yeah. out. Yeah. All right. Thanks, yeah. Al. That's a good question. Thank you. Thanks, I think Al. Al should do some voice acting. Yeah, dude. Al. I love yeah, smooth yeah. Voice. I, God, I, you know what? I'm so jealous of That's that. That's a smooth voice. I wish I, I don't Just go have lower, it. Sean. Yeah. yeah. 